Over my correct, uh, accounting career, I've um, caught a number of embezzlers. Um, uh, you know, it's like a few of them. It's like there's two that stand out. It's like a couple of can't, you know, I was trying to remember what they, what they were, but it's like there's two that stand out. One was quite minor. Is it Pack Air Air Freight, which was at the time, it's actually still in business, but at the time it was over in, uh, at the airport area, uh, LAX, LAX area. And there was, uh, she, uh, there was a clerk that was doing something, you know, she was actually, we, once in a while I think we'd get cash or something and she was taking the cash, so there was that. That wasn't a big deal, but um, uh, the one big one was at um, registration control systems, um, and the previous uh, person that had my job, I think I had the, the uh, title of finance director at that particular place, uh, registration control systems, and they're still around, they're, st they're up in Ventura County. And um, uh, it's like he, uh, first of all, they hired somebody that they, I guess they kind of knew. And because the, you know, the, it was, the company was run by Mormons and, you know, was owned by Mormons and a lot, about half the employees were Mormons. And I'm not saying anything about, about bad about Mormons because it's like most of them I really like a lot. So, but, um, you know, they hired him because he was like, you know, in the same religion and, he was not qualified at all to be like a, a, a finance director or accounting manager or whatever. You know, it's like he was not, he, he had no experience in it. It's like, but they, they gave him this job. Well, he figured out over, he was there probably for maybe a couple of years and I replaced him. It's like he, I can't remember what happened to him. If he got laid off or um, he quit, I think he quit, actually quit. I think he quit because he was still there. That's right, he quit because he actually was still there when I got there. And he was showing me a few, you know, showed me some of the things that, you know, how to, you know, like, you know, the programs and so on. And, um, you know, and he was a nice guy too, you know, and it's like, uh, and I think we went back to Utah. And um, it turns out, you know, he, figure you know they, they didn't have I blame a part of this on them the company not having checks and balances it's like you have to have checks and balances you know because for some people you know even people that are decent people if they're in a hard way and they can't you know they're having trouble making ends meet it's too it, sometimes it's too much of a temptation so part of it's on them but of course you know you're not supposed to embezzle that's a crime you're not supposed to be stealing from your employer and uh, what happened was is like he could sign checks up to five thousand dollars and he also did the bank reconciliations um, and so on. that's a big no-no you know it's like if anything you know it's like it's one thing having a controller um, you know somebody in management like that uh, signing the checks but maybe you know but you should always make sure that the bank reconciliation is doing, being done by somebody else so he was doing both so he was in some cases um, writing. Uh, it was a total. Ended up being a total of about thirty-three, um, uh, thirty-three thousand dollars somewhere in that neighborhood. But yeah, I had at one time when I first started and stuff. I had um, not long after I started, I had had a temp come in to, to catch up on some work or finish because there were some odd things. You know, it's like I I you like to just continue things. It's like so I was continuing things, but there was some like things on the uh, balance sheet that didn't look right you know it's like and it's like there was some, you know some things wrong and actually if he had covered the thing interesting thing is if he had covered his tracks better um, I may not have found it because the, one of the last things you want to do when you go in there you just want to keep moving forward because you have a, a workload you know that you're dealing with the last thing you want to do is like you don't really have the time to go backwards and you know look at stuff and you know it's like you usually don't have time for that uh, that's why I had a temp come in to straighten out some stuff and everything and she was saying you know it's like you know the you know it's like it's like well I don't know it's this you know I had questions about this and stuff on the balance sheet and stuff and, and had he moved the things over into the expense gradually over to the expenses um, I may not have seen it or noticed it um, uh, while he was there but um, it turns out you know so I started investigating it uh, at that point because something didn't look right and um, started getting like the check you know they um, got copies of checks and so on and then you know it's turned out he was he had written I don't know several a few of them for a number of them for five thousand dollars or something like that and you know sometimes it would be like three thousand dollars something like that but um, one of the things he did and you know he uh, what I found kind of 
hubris was he, he bought himself a vehicle, a new car. I think it was a truck or something. <laughs> Which is, it's funny, but it's not funny. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, but I thought it was like, Jesus, he bought himself a car. Yeah, I think part of the problem, too, is that he was getting under, he wasn't making very much money. The salary wasn't very much, so it tempted him more to, uh, to be, you know, to get some, because he probably just didn't have enough to get by or something, you know, but, uh, but he still shouldn't have done it. Like I said, he shouldn't, still shouldn't have done it. Um, but, you know, I put this all together, and then I, you know, at the time, uh, for some reason, I was reporting to a VP. It's like, this was not a big company, you know, it's like it had, like, 40 people or something like that, and it's like, and, uh, but they had, like, VPs and stuff, and it's like, it's like, it's, company's too small to have a bunch of VPs. So anyway, for some reason, I was not reporting directly to the owner of the company, which it should have been, you know. And actually, that got changed later. It's like I started reporting to him. But anyway, I went, I actually went to, uh, directly to the owner of the company, Ed Edgar Bolton. And, uh, and then uh, Gary Palmer came in, who's the guy I was reporting to at the time, you know, it's like the meeting. And it's like, I said, listen, it's like, this is what I found. And I just kind of showed him the checks. And it's like, and they were just, didn't say anything for a while uh, and then uh, realized it's like so I think you know what they did is like I don't know he, he, I don't know that they went after him criminally but they um, the insurance company I think covered it if I remember correctly um, and then maybe the insurance company went after him or something but uh, yeah that was one of the that was the big embezzlement thing that I that I discovered and found um, and uh, um, I just, you know, it's like, and they should have, you know, I think they, you know, they were glad I found it, but I think they should have been a little more grateful. Um, uh, it's, you know, like when it came time to, you know, like when they did Christmas bonuses, I wasn't given any kind of reward. I didn't expect it, but you know, it's like, um, I think they should have been a lot more grateful to me. And uh, when, it, when they were giving out um, Christmas uh, bonuses and stuff, it's like my Christmas bonus was kind of, it was it was actually kind of weak and crappy you know i thought it was you know so it was like i i didn't you know it's like it didn't look like they really appreciated me so anyway so that's my story on the embezzler thing and uh, i know there was at least one other and i just can't recall it it probably wasn't a lot of money but uh um that uh that's my embezzlement story